Uh, parents who are joining us, can you please take your seats in the green section where the green stickers are? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Edison High School's Link Exit Ceremony. We'll be getting underway in just a few short moments. Two minutes. All right, guys, we're kind of on a tight schedule. So all the parents, take a seat here, ready to go. Two minutes? Two minutes, all right. Starting? Ready? Sure, you're All 10 right. seconds early. Go. We're starting a little early here. Welcome, everyone, to our June 2021 exiting ceremony, in which we'll be recognizing 20 of our finest students for having completed their 10 year program. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge the fact that we are all here in the flesh. We're not separate or isolated, still adhering to safety protocols, of course, but we're together. And uh, if there's one thing I've learned to say, you got to take a look at the small things. So I would like to thank the lovely Miss Autumn for putting this event on for us. Not, nobody works harder. And also a big thanks to Bob Now, it's been a while since we've had one of these exiting ceremonies, which is a shame because not only is it a hallmark of what we do in the LINK program, but personally, it's my favorite event of the year. Many instances in the past, I've had the distinct privilege of recognizing these outstanding young individuals and honoring their unique contributions to our program. But there won't be a more unique class than this one. So I'm really grateful to be here. Normally, I would go on and on and use a lot of superlatives trying to describe 
everybody individually who made the day possible, but unfortunately we don't have that kind of time. So we're gonna keep the introductions brief. However, I would like to take a minute to say thanks to all the family members and parents who are here today joining us and those who wish to be here but simply could not as well. Oftentimes I talk about how we have the students seven hours a day and you have them 17, but let's be honest, there have been times recently where you've had them 24. And you sat through our lessons while simultaneously doing your own job on another computer in the same room. I believe that the struggles of our community here before have weathered us to withstand this crucible. Our parents have been an absolute inspiration. Humbled by your presence, and I can only hope you've done, we've done a fraction for you of what you've done for us. So a round of applause for all the parents here. At this point, I will list all the professionals who can prize the Special Abilities Cluster, and respectfully, in the interest of time, I'm going to have everybody uh, hold their applause to the end, okay? Right. We'll start with the aids and paraprofessionals. Secretary Jody Shoka and Michelle McNabb, conduit to the community and the access about which our program rotates. Our service providers, speech and language pathology Jenny Morton, Haley Romero, Miranda Lohman, Lisa Squadrito, and Laura Irving, using your expertise in emerging fields to enhance our students' education and inform our practice. And of course, our physical education specialist, Tanya Ross and Van Nguyen, meeting the most basic health needs of our students at this critical moment, thereby allowing us to educate them in the manner that we do. Vocational training specialists, Donald Lusa and Miguel Reyes, showing our students the support of the world from the four walls of our campus and also serving as an access of outreach to affiliated organizations like the Regional Center of Orange County and the Department of Rehab. Artosa, Ryan Cherney, consonant professional, taking into account the considerations of all stakeholders and staffing our classrooms. And of course, our school psychologist, Christy Burden and uh, Tim Baker. Uh, I know Christy's had big shoes to fill this year and she's done it magnificently. And Tim Baker, where we begin with this guy, he's probably the best storyteller you'll ever meet in your life. And uh, <laughs> I don't think a lot of students are even show up on that one. I, I don't even think a lot of staff are show up on that one. So let's give a round of applause for all those people. I think a special token of gratitude is an order for our hygiene and nursing staff headed by Irene and Paul. They're not here right now because they never get to take a break. I'm sure there's a combination of words to describe what they've done over the last year to keep us safe during the most violent health crisis in over a century. I'm just not sure what it is, so I'm not even going to try. But I do want to tip my hat to our first responders who are working here. We wouldn't have a program without them. So let's give them a big, big round of applause. Now here's a question for the audience, and it's a rhetorical question, so you don't actually have to answer it. But uh, do you know how many students were tracked to have been exposed to the virus while on campus here? This year? Zero. And that not only speaks to a strict adherence to safety protocol, but it also highlights strong leadership and a pragmatic approach to building consensus. And on that note, I would like to thank our administrator, Mr. Loomis, over here, for guiding the ship through the storm. He's a guy that'll probably never get the credit he deserves for what he did this year, but let me be the first to say, I like your outfit, Mr. Loomis. And uh, I'm thinking the hairdo, too, man. Why don't you come up and say a few words for some people in the audience? Thank you guys for being here today. This is really surreal for me. I know, like you, the last 15 months has been extremely difficult. I know that you've let us come into your homes through instruction and, and supported your students, you know, tirelessly. So I thank the parents for that. So... Thank you guys for you know, the last 15 months of sitting in front of the computer with your students and then transition back in person, back to online. Um, thank you for that. Also, thank you for the last eight years of this program, um, relationship with all of you. We've um, been involved in this program for 10 years. Um, so it's a few years getting started. So this is for us, you know, for me and my staff. Stay connected. No 
know that you're always a charger. I know that you're always welcome at our booster events. And stay connected to families within this community. Um, our booster club hasn't done much this year, obviously, because we're, you know, with restrictions, but we're going to get that thing rolling again. And I hope this, that you stay connected and stay part of this Edison community that's amazing. Um, I also want to say a special thanks to uh, Principal Graves and the rest of the admin team that's here today. Um, they have supported us through this this last 15 months. Um, so thank you, Principal Graves. Thank you, Kevin Fairman. Thank you, Cena Rich, Andrea Atkinson, and John Bennett. I'd also like to offer special thanks to our Executive Director of Special Ed, Doug Zavita, who always puts kids first. Without his support this year, you guys would not have had the high level of instruction that was both online and in person. Thank you again for your support. Um, I really want to uh, extend a special thanks. I really want to express a special thanks to the instructional staff, okay, teachers, instructional aides, and service providers. Without your effort this year, it, 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 would, it just wouldn't have worked. We had to transition from an in-person program on a Friday to an online program on Monday. And with the varying abilities of our students, it was challenging. Um, I think you all rose to the task, and I thank you. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm very humble with what's happened this year. Um, and I'm blessed to have you all on my team, so thank you very much. Transitions are extremely tough for families. I have a daughter, she transitioned to a new school, I was anxious. What I do know is the staff has prepared your students for that transition to the next level. They have the abilities and skills to go and thrive. Okay, so and know that you always have a family here at Edison. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you need help with something, if you need a document, we're here to help. I know every one of my teachers, every one of my instructional aides would pick up the phone and do whatever they could to help you. Um, I have one last thing. This was given me today um, to by our booster, our ex booster president, who's been involved with the booster club for a long time. I just want to recognize this um, this lady. She's been around for eight years. I've known her for eight years. She's if you don't know her. She's probably one of the funniest people I'll ever meet. Um, and the booster club wanted to provide her a lifetime achievement award. And that's for Kathy Lawson. like getting ready and I was thinking what I was going to say and I'm like you know if I talk too much I'm an emotional guy I don't want to cry um, but you know I, it's it's hard it's, it's hard for you guys for the last three years so it's really you don't see every day I don't get you know Dino to talk trash to me every morning you know the little things in, in life that make this job is amazing so with that I'm going to turn this over to Susan Cataldo she's going to start recognizing us thank you guys came to me, he was a speed and balance in his chair, didn't ask a lot of questions, so he got him slowed down, 
So next up, I am going to introduce a teacher who's new to our program, although she's not new to the district, she's been uh, at Ideas at Ocean View and Fountain Valley before this, and Brooke Baird, it's been a pleasure to have you on board. I know that most of my students say that her class is their favorite, which is, they used to say it was my class, Brooke, so not anymore, I guess. So we're going to have Brooke come up, I think she has four students exiting. And just a reminder, parents, if you want to take uh, photos, right back behind here after your students are introduced, you can take a photo with the case manager. Uh, let's give Brooke a round of applause here. here at Edison. Um, in my short five months of being here, um, these students have quickly found their way into my heart um, and I, I truly have enjoyed my time with them and I want to thank the parents too for entrusting us with your most prized possessions. You know, we've all been here for eight years and so again, thank you to you guys. Um, I want to begin with Delaney. All right, so. hey. Delaney has truly been a pleasure to work with. Um, she's always got this most beautiful smile, positive attitude, um, and she really does light up a room when she enters it. Um, I, I want to congratulate you on completing eight years at Edison, and um, the lady has decided to attend Dreams of America. Um, where I know she'll do really well and you know she has the ultimate goal of working with young children so um, you know you're going to do great in, in everything that you do Delaney so um, on behalf of all the staff here at Edison we want to congratulate you and uh, wish you the best of luck on your future endeavors and we're so proud of you. All right. Bean, you want to come on up? Yeah. All right, Dean, where do I begin? Uh, you have managed to make me smile and laugh every single day. He's got uh, the best humor and he's got quick wit. He's Fantastic. He's got the best t-shirts um, and he truly is loved by everyone who has had the privilege of knowing him. Um, after eight years here in Edison, I know you're going to be uh, leaving a big point here and um, we want to, I know Dean's decided to, to take a little time off and spend time with family and go on some road trips and um, the best of luck on your future uh, endeavors and if 
you ever decide to run for mayor of HB, you have my vote. <laughs> Did you have a being on TV the whole year? Is the best teacher on our head? during our Monday, our Mondays that we spend together. Um, the energy you bring to the class, it's contagious. Uh, what I love about Bryce is that when a good song comes on, he can't, can't help but get up and dance and move. Uh, so I, I love that about you. Um, and I can say that Mr. Al is going to miss your daily training sessions because you are, you have the energy and stamina. You just are, are always ready to, to work out and I know you'll be greatly missed. So um, Bryce has decided to attend the adult program at Abilities Unlimited. Um, and on behalf of all the Edison staff here, we'd like to congratulate you and wish you uh, the best of luck. And you will be greatly missed, Bryce. All right, Sanad, come on down. enjoyed my time spent with Sanad. Um, he, he also knows how to light up a room. He, his, um, he has the, the most positive mood. He's got the, the best work ethic. Um, and he just, everything about you, Sanad, I, I've, I've loved getting to know you. Um, so, yeah. yes. <laughs> so Sanad has decided to, um, his goal is to volunteer. Um, he's going to continue with his piano lessons, his swim lessons, and spending some quality time with family. And um, Sanad, I just want to wish you the, the best of luck on your future endeavors, and you will be greatly missed, Sanad. I have four students exiting right now, and um, just like Joe, I'm kind of an emotional person too, although I don't really, I can't show it, not a lot to. <laughs> All right, they're coming back. If you guys want to, go ahead and head back there to get your picture. And so in no particular order, I'm going to start off with the young lady over here who's got her, her gown on, Shantae Tran, okay? And then I also have Ryan Nguyen. Tony Flores Galvez and Luke Medcalf. So why don't you guys all come up here and take a seat? Come on, Ryan. Come on, Tony. Okay. And Luke Medcalf, the one and only right there, guy. Thank you, Krista. A couple of Hall of Famers right here. We're going to start off with Shantae. Here she comes. Hi, Shantae. Shantae has only been on my caseload for a year now, but she came out last year of a self-contained setting, and I was amazed at how flexible she was. Lovely mother's over here. She's attended my homeroom online every single day, and uh, even though she's only been on my caseload a year, I've known her for quite some time. She was one of my first... Hi, Shantae. What's going on? She was one of my first students that I've had uh, in the, that I knew from back when I was a resident sub. And she's one of the students who uh, 
got me to decide to go from general education to special education. Um, right over there. And thank you so much for attending your morning, uh, Ms. Snow. And uh, Shante is going to be continuing her education. Hi, Shante. Always bringing the positivity. Always. I mean, that's what. <laughs> that's what I love about it. And so she's going to be continuing her education at Westview Adult Program in Westminster, which is a terrific uh, place to go. Shantae, and she also likes to jam out on the keyboard a lot. That's her. So here you go, Shantae. Let me find the, the correct one for you. All right, next up we have, well, we have three guys coming up. Watch out, there it is. We have three guys coming up who have been on my caseload forever. A couple of Hall of Famers here. And uh, so this is kind of, as Joe said, a bittersweet occasion. And we're going to start off with uh, Anthony Flores Galvez right here. Anthony Flores Galvez, a.k.a. Tony Bologna, the one and only. Here he is. Come on up, Tony. Anthony has been on my caseload for four years now. And he's the guy you'll notice kind of spinning the hat around with it, puts the sriracha all over everything. His dad, Miguel, is in the audience right there. The guy loves hot sauce. He puts it on everything, on everything. So Tony is one of the most fun students you'll ever have. He's one of my strongest vocational students I've ever had. And back when we did Cafe Chapman, he was one of my chief baristas. Uh, you'll, you'll remember him from almost every uh, SAC event that we've had, whether it was SAC Swim, SAC Track. And he's just that kind of a social guy. And I know he's a little nervous being up here, Tony. It's okay. You're not the only one. But uh, I do want to say that I'm really proud of how far you've come in terms of your communication, your dependence. And I know, I believe right now his number one choice is um, Project Independence. This is his own program, but they're still doing referrals. And wherever he goes, he's going to land on his feet. And I'm super proud of him. So let's give a round of applause for Tony Flores Tony Bologna. Here you go. Next up, we have Ryan Nguyen. Ryan Nguyen. Everybody knows Ryan. Ryan AKA the Hulk Man, because uh, those are his favorite superheroes. Incredible Hulk inspired me. He'll tell you about it all the time. Okay? And he's a superhero in his own right. Ryan Nguyen oftentimes stands up for students who are not as strong as he is. And he's um, always trying to do the right thing. And, you know, there was a time when, when people were kind of scared of you, man. And they're not anymore because they realize how big of a heart you have and how often you uh, try to help others in need. And that's what I'm most proud of. I'm, I'm proud of your communication development. I'm proud of your vocational skills and your independence. Uh, his mom, Tracy, and his dad, Tony, are here. They've been an absolute pleasure to work with over the years. And Ryan the one will be continuing his education at Westview in Westminster. I think he wants to say something. You want to say something to the audience here? I like swimming and moving and hawking and hawk when he's going to the The first time is stand up for the helpless. Prime and stand up for the helpless, right? Ryan, you're my hero, man. Here. Last but certainly not least, we have uh, Luke Man here, the Lukester. Everybody knows Luke. Everybody knows Luke. He's been here. He's been on my caseload again four years. Okay, here he is. And uh, <laughs> Luke's been such a pleasure to work with. He's the type of student that reminds you uh, why you do what you do. And, you know, he's one of the strongest individuals I know and one of the most positive as well. Uh, Luke has taught me more about ASL than I could have possibly learned in any class. And of course, he has, has had Don for how long, Don? Five years? Seven years. Seven years. So this is a huge transition. I know Susie, whose mom is in the audience there. You, you're such a terrific mother, Susie. And it's been an absolute pleasure to work with you. It, it really has. And Luke just got accepted to uh, Encore as of yesterday which is a great program for you, Luke. You're going to do great. I got to tell you, though, man, you got to pick a team. He's the only guy who wears a, a Lakers jersey under a Clippers bib with a Golden State Warriors hat on. Yeah. 
I think, I think I saw him once with like a uh, a Manchester United uniform and a Liverpool warm up. So I'm just playing, man. You're awesome, Luke. Uh, and we're gonna be in touch, obviously, soon going forward. Okay. Next up, we will have uh, Heather Kimbrell. Let's all, let's all welcome Heather. I know she's got like four students asking, so it's a big uh, transition.
skill set when it comes to sewing, arts and crafts. Um, she's very creative. Her career goals that she wanted shared include being a seamstress, working at Party City, or being a barista at Starbucks. <laughs> so um, Caitlin plans to spend time at the beach, travel with her family. She's already registered for classes at Coastline Community College. Um, she has not chosen an adult program quite yet, uh, but she still plans on being active with the Irvine City
Mr. Johnson, you're on deck. So I've been lucky to hang out with Kyle for two years. Um, Grandma got to go around with her when I went and I went to the sack on her. It was never a good day, buddy. Um, so one of my issues in uh, Kyle's very strength is he's super social. And I'm very easily distracted. So Kyle used to love to kind of do the fist bumps, pre-COVID, elbows, whatever it was. So even on the days where I was having a hard time, Kyle would I'm going to I don't know. We're going to really excel. We're going to really, really awesome. We're going to really well. We have touchdown celebrations, and I'm going to open up the small sports on the planet. And I recall we've all got nothing in my room. So it's all the party I'm going to do at the same time. Um, but, anyways, you know, I also want to give a shout out to Grandma. I think in the last two years, I think during the time of the day, I think it's been three times a week talking for extended amounts of time about how we can do it for Kyle. And I just also, as a teacher, I loved having that relationship with a parent to do whatever we really had to do. Working side by side on the same page with the parents that they did very much. We're lucky to make time. Good job, buddy. My name is uh, Tim Johnson, I'm Andrew's uh, case manager. I've had the opportunity to work with Andrew on three separate occasions um, in the last seven or eight years. Uh, when I started at Edison about seven or eight years ago, I was an aide in Andrew's classroom and Dave Yance's class in the success program. I got to know Andrew pretty well, working with him almost daily, and I quickly uh, realized that um, I needed to keep my eyes on him quite a bit and wear my running shoes when I was with him. And then the uh, second opportunity I had working with Andrew was a few years later in, in the LINK program with in, uh, Vince Lee's classroom. Um, got to know him a little better, and what I really liked with him was that he 
matured quite a bit and his relationship with Kyle Clausen. Um, those two worked great with each other. They became friends. Uh, it was fun watching them in the uh, classroom work on tasks together. Out in the um, recycle center, they were excellent together. Uh, Andrew would give Kyle a bottle or a can and he would separate it correctly. Thank you. And then just recently I became um, Andrew's case manager. And I've gotten to work with him for the last five months. Or five, yeah, about five months. And just to see his maturity and his improvement and his progress has been outstanding. And uh, I just want to give kudos to Melanie, his mother. Um, Andrew's his number one, her number one focus. And the love that she has for him is outstanding. And thank you for all the support. Um, everybody that has worked with Andrew here at Edison, uh, we wish him the best of luck, and you're going to be missed. Congratulations, Andrew. Before we conclude the ceremony, I do want to say a word for four people who retired over the last year, um, three of them directly in our department, and one of them was kind of the voice of the school. And of course, the, the first I'm talking about is Virginia Turner. She was the voice of our school, I think, for like two decades. And you could always hear over the loudspeaker reminding everybody to all our chargers to pick up their trash before the end of the lunch, you guys remember that. And um, that's kind of the person she was. She was always trying to make the uh, community a better place. Steve Kaplan was a psychologist for us, I believe, for 15 years. And you'll rem remember that he had the office that had all the student artwork all over it. And um, Steve Kaplan always knew how to tap into what students were good at. And um, as I say about our psychologists, a lot of our students probably don't even show up, not for them. And Steve Kaplan was an exemplar of that. Kurt Cosbab, who uh, uh, ran our workability grant for, I think, like 30 years, 35 years. And he was the um, kind of the champion of the uh, vocational training program for that time period. And um, he really had a huge, indelible impact on the program. And of course, Carol Ann Tripoletti, who was one of our case managers for, um, I believe, about 20 years. And she retired at the semester. You remember her as the, the teacher that was always um, teaching our students the home economic skills, cooking, and also did the yoga class that so many people enjoyed for so long. So I would like to give them a round of applause for their impact. Now this, we're gonna, we're gonna tie a bow on it. This is it. I would like to please remind all the um, aides who are working with students to let Don Marin know if one of the students who is attending is going home with parents uh, just for our um, accounting, please. So if anybody is going home with their parents and not on the bus, please let Don Marin know. Is that right, Joe? And uh, thank you guys all for showing up. Please stay safe. And we wish you well on the, in the next chapter of your, of your lives. Thank you.